Hi, my name is Xue Ying and I'll be going to talk about an autoimmune syndrome. I would like to start by introducing what is autoimmune syndrome induced by adjuvants, which is also known as Asia. So the term is actually proposed as a distinct syndrome in 2011 by Professor Sean Field. The prototypical conditions used to define Asia were siliconosis, gout ball syndrome, macrophagic myofasciitis syndrome, and post-vaccination phenomena. Professor Sean Fitt noted that these four conditions were linked with previous exposure to an adjuvant, and that the patients also presented with similar clinical symptoms. This discovery led Professor Sean Fitt to suggest these comparable conditions should be grouped under a common syndrome entitled Asia. Now you might wonder what are adjuvants. Adjuvants are actually substances meant to enhance antigen-specific immune response in our body. Adjuvants are commonly used in vaccines to enhance the immune response. Aluminium is common in many vaccines, such as the tetanus, hepatitis, and pneumococcal vaccines. Considering that COVID-19 vaccine is now a popular topic, it is important to know how vaccine might affect us. Apart from aluminium in vaccines, silicon implants also have adjuvant-like properties and are implicated in this disease. The current criteria used for the diagnosis of autoimmune syndrome induced by adjuvant is classified into major and minor criteria. The major criteria include exposure to an external stimuli, histologically normal tissue on biopsy from involved organs, improvement of symptoms once the agent is removed or withdrawn. However, this cannot be applied to vaccines because they cannot be withdrawn after administration. The fourth major criterion is the presence of non-specific clinical manifestations. The minor criteria include the presence of autoantibodies to the adjuvants, clinical manifestations such as irritable bowel syndrome (IBS), presence of specific human leukocyte antigen (HLA) subtypes such as HLA DRB1 and DQB1, as well as the progression of autoimmune disease. Some of the criteria actually reduces the specificity of the diagnosis. For example, there are more than 11% of the population having irritable bowel syndrome, and practitioners are not going to suspect patients with IBS are having autoimmune syndrome induced by adjuvants, right? The presence of any two major or one major plus two minor criteria is sufficient to establish the diagnosis. Does that mean that vaccines are dangerous and we shouldn't get vaccinated? Definitely not. Some may suffer from adverse effects when they get vaccinations. It is quite common. However, it does not mean that it puts public safety in grave danger because vaccines are the best medical development and are one of the most effective public health measures that helps to eradicate some diseases. Here are my references. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video.